Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to guide you through everything you need to know about Draw.io, especially if you're a beginner. Draw.io is an excellent tool for creating diagrams, flowcharts, and visual content for all kinds of projects. Whether you're working on a mind map, a software architecture diagram, or even a simple flowchart, Draw.io has all the features you need to get started with ease. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to access Draw.io, take you through the main features, and guide you on how to create your first diagram. So let's dive in and get started. If you're not familiar with Draw.io, let me give you a quick overview. Draw.io is a free online diagramming tool that makes it easy to create everything from flowcharts to complex network diagrams. What sets Draw.io apart is its simplicity and the fact that it doesn't require any installation or account creation to use. It also supports integrations with platforms like Google Drive, OneDrive, GitHub and more, making it a flexible tool for both personal and professional use. The most obvious first step that we need to do is show you how to get to draw.io. You don't need to create an account to use draw.io. All you need to do is go to drawio.com and you'll land on its homepage. Now you can see draw.io is available as both a web-based and a desktop application. If you want to use the web-based version, just click on the start button and you are ready to go. If you prefer using it as a desktop application, simply click on the download button to download and install it onto your computer. For this tutorial, we would like to use its web-based version. So all you'll do is click on the start button. In the next step, you have a pop-up window. In the pop-up window, there are six main options to use to save your diagrams to. These options are Google Drive, OneDrive, Device, Dropbox, GitHub, and GitLab. If you don't want to decide now which option to choose, just hit decide later. Now you will land on the main editor where you can make your diagrams. The editor may look a bit complex at first, but don't worry, I'll walk you through its main parts step by step so you can easily understand how to use it. The first thing you might want to do is give your diagram a name. At the top left corner, you'll see a section labeled Untitled Diagram. Click on this name and a dialog box will appear, allowing you to rename your file. Type the desired name for your diagram and save it to your preferred location. Top bar contains all the essential tools and options you'll need while working on your diagram. Here you'll find options like File, Edit, View, Arrange and Extras. These menus let you perform actions such as saving your diagram, undoing changes, zooming in or out and aligning elements. There's also a toolbar with icons for quick access to frequently used tools like shapes, connectors and text boxes. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the shape library. This menu provides a variety of pre-made shapes and icons categorized into groups such as general, flowchart, arrows, and more. If you need additional shapes, click on the plus more shapes button at the bottom to explore other categories and add them to your library. To use a shape, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. The main canvas is the large grid-like area in the center of your screen. This is where you'll create and edit your diagram. The grid helps you align your elements neatly, and you can adjust the zoom level using the options in the top bar. You can also click and drag shapes from the left menu to the canvas and connect them using arrows for creating flowcharts or other diagrams. The right sidebar contains additional settings and customization options. Here you can adjust the diagram style, change the paper size and toggle options like connection arrows and guides. You can also set the background color or enable shadow effects for your shapes. This sidebar makes it easy to fine tune your diagram to suit your needs. With these basics you should now feel more comfortable navigating navigating the draw.io editor. Once you get familiar with these actions, creating diagrams will become much easier. Once you've created a diagram, you'll probably want to save it. Draw.io gives you several options to save your work. To start, navigate to the top left corner and click on the file menu. From there, select the save as option. A pop-up window will appear, giving you the option to choose the file type and storage location. You can save your diagram in formats such as XML, PNG, SVG, and HTML. Below the file type options, you'll see storage location choices like Google Drive, OneDrive, GitHub, Dropbox, or your local device. Let's say you want to save your diagram as an XML file on your device. In that case, select XML as the type and device as the location. Then click the save button. A dialog box will appear where you can select a folder on your computer to store the file. Once saved, your diagram will be available in the selected format and location. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video.
If you've already created a diagram and want to open it again, Draw.io makes it easy. Go to the File menu in the top left corner and select Open From. You'll see several options to import your diagram, including Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, your browser, your device, or even a URL. For example, let's open a diagram from your device. Click Device and browse for the XML file you saved earlier. Once you've located the file, select it and click Open. The diagram will load in the Draw.io editor, ready for you to work on. The shape tools in Draw.io are designed to make diagrams simple and intuitive. By default, the general shapes category is open in the left menu. You can drag and drop shapes like rectangles, circles and arrows directly onto the canvas. If you need specific shapes for a flowchart or a diagram, click on the category that suits your needs, such as flowchart or arrow. To remove a shape, right click on it and select delete or cut. If you can't find a particular shape, use the search bar at the top of the left menu. For instance, if you're looking for a swim lane shape, type it into the search bar and the results will appear. Once you find the shape, drag and drop it on to the canvas. Next up, let me show you how to connect two shapes. Imagine you have different shapes on your canvas and now you want to link them together. Connecting shapes with arrows is an essential part of creating diagrams. To do this, start by clicking on the connection icon, which is represented by an arrow. To do this, start by clicking on the connection icon, which is represented by an arrow, in the top toolbar. A variety of arrow styles will appear for you to choose from. Select the style you prefer. Once you have chosen an arrow, you might wonder how to connect two shapes. Hover over the first shape and click on it. Then drag the arrow towards the second shape you want to connect. If you need to adjust the connection line, for example to add a curve, simply left click on the line and drag it in the direction you want. This makes it easy to create smooth and visually pleasing connections between shapes. Lastly, let me show you how you can add colors to the shapes. Adding color to your shapes is an easy way to make your diagrams more visually engaging and organized. To add color, just select a shape on your canvas by clicking on it. Then take a look at the right sidebar where you'll find the color palette. Simply choose a color from the palette and it will instantly apply to the selected shape. You can use different colors for different shapes to help distinguish them. For example, let's add a triangle, rectangle, square, and circle to the canvas from the left menu. Then select each shape one by one and assign a unique color to each using the palette. This not only makes your diagram look more appealing, but also helps differentiate the elements for better understanding. Draw.io is a free online diagramming tool that makes it easy to create everything from flowcharts to complex network diagrams. What sets Draw.io apart is its simplicity and the fact that it doesn't require any installation or account creation to use. It also supports integrations with platforms like Google Drive, OneDrive, GitHub and more, making it a flexible tool for both personal and professional use. And that's it for this tutorial. Today we covered the basics of using Draw.io, including how to save and open files, use shape tools, connect shapes, and even add colors to your diagrams. I hope this tutorial made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Draw.io, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.